welcome to the Philly 500 test run. That's right, the test run. Today, we are testing eggnog time. Now, many of you know that I quit sugar back in August. Now, I've done pretty good with this, but I quit it back in August, and this creates a problem for me in November. It creates a problem because I can't enjoy eggnog time, yo, when I can't have any sugar because eggnog contains tons of sugar. Everybody knows that but me. So, December, I'm not dieting. I'm quitting everything. I'm just taking the month off because that's what I do. I know better than to even to try it at Christmas time to diet. So, I can have all the eggnog in the world. Oh, and I will in December. But I got to get through November because it's half my eggnog season. So, I used my dingbat mind here and there. And I put some things together. And I decided to create my own keto eggnog right there. That's right, this is keto eggnog, no sugar, and this shall allow me to get through the month of November. So, I ch made this last night, I'm gonna, I chilled it overnight, and we're gonna try it right now. So let's see, see how this thing tastes. <laughs> oh God, that's disgusting! Eggnog, it's steak nog. It's disgusting. Oh my gosh. Oh sh. Oh my god, I got it all over the rug. Oh my god, I got it all over the rug. My wife is gonna double move off my ass. I gotta clean this up. I gotta clean this up. Dingbat here. So that was a complete and total disaster. That was disgusting. I created stink nog, not eggnog. It's back to the drawing board we go. We'll see how it goes next time. Uh, it was gross. But at least I got that carpet clean. That's the main thing. And the carpet's clean. The wife will never know. And I'm okay. Well, now she's going to know because she's probably going to watch this. Sorry, baby. I love you. I you do it. You Doing, baby, I ain't doing this body it was made for you know what? <laughs> Don't be mad. Now, let's talk about the Philadelphia Eagles. The trade deadline approaches. Everybody's wondering, when the hell are they going to make a move? They got to make a move, as far as I'm concerned. At least, that's what I think. And the reason I say this, the reason I say that I think they got to make a move is because the trade deadline is approaching and it comes October 30th. And my feeling is that if you don't do anything, if you make no moves, if you choose to keep your draft picks and do nothing, then are you kind of giving in on the season, accepting defeat? Because see, I'm not ready to give up on the season. Okay, I'm not ready at three, four, seven games in to call this uh, you know, hey, that's the end of the season. Too bad we made a Super Bowl last year. We'll wait till next year. I'm not ready to do it. I'm not ready to do it. We got we got some games to play, some big games, and I want to win. I want to win. I want the fairy tale story part two. And I'm in. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to go. And I hope the Eagles and I hope Howie Roseman is too. I am not ready to say, oh, well, you know what? Too bad. We got a third round pick. Well, who the hell is the third round pick going to be? We don't even know the player. He means stick. So, my thing is this. I don't need to trade for a guy for just one year. I don't even care if we trade for a guy just for two years. I don't need it. But there are guys out there that could be a beneficial addition to this team for two, three years. Okay? Now, I would consider certain things like that. I would not give up a first-round pick. I'm probably not going to give a second-round pick up at this point, okay? Unless it was somebody like a Le'Veon Bell or something came loose, which I don't think he is going to get traded at this point. But a guy like Emmanuel Sanders, now he's the only guy who's older that I would accept. I would take him because he's two years. He would give you two years 
And he obviously, if you look at his numbers, the guy still can flat out play. So I would accept him for two years. I would give like a fourth round pick. I'm not giving no second for him. I'm not giving no third round pick for him. He's too old. But something cheap, yeah. Um, if Deshaun Jackson was available, sure, I would give a mid round pick. But I'm not giving any second round picks at this point. I'm not giving any first round picks. But there's still mid round picks that the Eagles can trade that could help this year and in the future. Um, Gary and Conley is an interesting uh, guy. Now, if he was traded to the Eagles, he would not help us right now. He would not help us, in my opinion, this season. Maybe he would help us a little. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. But to me, that is actually the kind of guy you could build on. You could have him for years down the road. And that may be an interesting thing if you can get him for like a fourth round pick, a third round pick, something like that. I don't know what they want, though. Um, but, you know, I think... That if a trade happens, because this is the question I get, when is it going to happen? We're all waiting. Well, if this video goes up, it probably hasn't happened yet. And I would say that the Eagles most likely will make a trade after that Jacksonville game. Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday is the most likely time. Because you have a bye week, that's the time you make a trade. Now, I think when they traded for Ajayi, the Eagles were on a bye week also. I can't remember exactly. Someone tell me if, if I'm wrong. But... You have a bye week, so you get back to England from England. That now's the time to make a, a trade. You have a guy come in on his bye week, learn some of the plays, and get adjusted. It makes some sense. That is the time it has to happen. Um, I honestly, I don't know if they're going to make a trade. I really was confident that they would. As time gets closer and closer, I wonder. But we're going to find out. I still think Howie Roseman is trying to do something and wants to do something. We just have to be patient to see what it is. Um, but I would say, you know, obviously, Le'Veon Bell is my dream. It's not going to happen. It doesn't sound like they're going to trade him. It doesn't sound like he's even going to report by the deadline. So that screws everything up. McCoy could be a possibility, too, um, considering, uh, you know, they probably want to get rid of him. He would be a guy, if we could trade him for a fourth-round pick, I would take. I would take McCoy for a fourth-round pick. He would play two years, and then I would use one of my second-round picks on a running back in the draft next year. So I would have McCoy for two years and my future running back to play behind him. That I could see and I could definitely deal with that. That wouldn't be a bad move. But I'm not, at this point, only Le'Veon Bell, to me, would carry a second round uh, price tag. He's the only guy I would give a second round pick. I will not give anybody a first round pick. Um, but because I have two, I would give one up for him. Anybody else, the first picks, my first round picks are off the table. Second round picks are pretty much off the table unless there's a name I'm not thinking of. Patrick Peterson, he doesn't want to go anywhere. He's 28 years old. I'm not giving a first round pick. Uh, I'm probably not going to give him a second round pick for him. Even though he's a very talented player and I would love to have him. I think the problems on this team are offensive. I think you need offensive weapons. You need a running back first off. If you can't get a running back, you can look at wide receiver, outside wide receiver. You need a second wide receiver. You need a deep threat. The Eagles can't just go to Ertz. Alshon, Ertz, Alshon, Ertz, Alshon. They got to be able to spread it around more, and you need an outside threat on that other side. If you could do that, it would help the passing game tremendously. What a Deshaun Jackson would mean on the outside. What an Emmanuel Sanders would mean on the outside. What a Devontae Parker would mean on the outside. I think they all would have a great impact on the Eagles' passing game. Um... And we're going to find out. We're going to find out what's available and what's going on. But we got to remain patient. Things are going to take time. And look, we're going to see what happens. But a lot of people want to know when. When is it going to go down? The best chance is as soon as that Jacksonville Jaguars game is over. Keep your eyes up. Because that's when it's coming. It's coming after Sunday. Coming Monday through Wednesday. That's the only time I see it taking place. Um, now, I do have my Eagles-Jags prediction video coming out. I'm going to try to put that out later today. If I can't get it out, uh, which I might not because I'm headed out this evening with the family. We have some things going on. I'm going to be out. I will put it out tomorrow. So look for that. And you don't forget, we'll be live streaming that Jags game. If anything breaks, any trades, because I'm, I'm waiting. Just like you, we're waiting. I will let you know. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Don't be a dingbat.